Hello Marvel Heroes fans, this is a video on leveling vendors and pets and it's mainly targeted to the new players although for the for the old timers if you have time to watch this video and would like to share your idea as well I'm more than welcome so in the comment below so that I could uh, edit this video accordingly if I miss out any tips so for, for new players um, the, the, the whole leveling vendor could be quite new to, to you because in, in some other games it's like you keep doing something and your vendor or your, your, your crafter uh, level up but in this game basically you donate all the loots that you have uh, to, to the vendor to gain XP so for example if you come to the crafter here uh, there's a donate box you can try and drop your items there to donate or you can just hold the alt and right click onto it now be very careful when you do this because you know sometimes when you have a bag full of loots you, you tend to just uh, spam your, your right click and then after that you may just sell off your your pets here because some, some pet actually you can sell for 500 credit or donate for 500 XP so uh, be very careful when you donate items and um, especially when you swap pets around like I do um, just be very careful when you hold it once you donate there's no turning back unlike unlike selling item whereby you can buy back all right um, so I mean uh, my, my advice is that there are there are multiple vendors that you can you can you can level here in this game it's quite, very fun uh, all the loots that you collect if you don't want you can either sell it for credit because you know some actually need the credit but for this game I strongly strongly recommend uh, leveling a crafter first so this one you should max it from rank 1 to rank 20 max it out first all right uh, because it has very nice recipes um, for, for for leveling up your gears for rerolling the affixes uh, for all sort of like ray related uh, stuff that you could um, you, you could you could do so um, go, go for the crafter first by all means go for crafters there's tons of very useful recipe i do not know which one is for what level anymore because i already get max and once they add the recipe i automatically get them all but uh, yeah do do max it out my recommendation but after after you've done the crafter uh do the enchanter too because enchanter is very useful when it comes to rune world and enchants the uh the the items like for slot one to uh, to five, you can and you can enchant uh, certain certain affixes into it. So right, and and ultimately you would like to do a blessing as well because some of the blessing I believe uh, are, are tied to the rank that you have. So uh, donate all your items into 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 the enchanter and and uh, you know get the crafter and then the enchanter up to the max. And the next two, uh, in terms of weapon and gear, those are very much like very minor. You do not need to level these two at all to max. I do that uh, because back in the old time, there are many things to do. There weren't many things to do. And uh, by leveling the, the weapon vendor and the uh, gear vendor to max, you uh, to se rank 17 and above, you have a chance of getting an artifact, not a great artifact, I mean, by today's standard. Or, and as well as the chance to have uh, a, a rune word, uh, which is well, either wealth, which is plus uh, 20 credit, or the uh, special item find. So, um, are, are these really mandatory? I'd probably say no, but the credit is actually quite useful. Uh, if, if you are not too into XP, like for your Omega system, usually I enchant the, the, the 2, 3, and 4 unique to XP. But if you're not too uh, concerned about the XP, uh, sometimes you would like to have better credit coming along. And this one actually quite, make quite a lot of difference because plus 20 times 3 is plus 60 per uh, per, per enemy drop. So, you know, um, so it, it, is, it is quite substantial when it comes to this credit. But do, do you want to uh, max this 2 out? personal choice all right uh, anything that has a credit value can be donated to uh, to a vendor so things like for instance runes uh, 337 credit for one which is quite nice if those runes that you do not need like I have a stack of all these hundred uh, those that I do not like so uh, do, do not need so um, I, I keep an extra stack just in case because I do have another one that I keep collecting but I have one that is stacked to 100 so this you can sell for like a 33,000 uh, XP or even 40,000 XP so these are very nice uh, as well for the rune that you have extra you can donate it off I find it very useful and uh, of course when it comes to the uh, event items like you know like the uh, koala or Valentine's Day these are close to 1 million XP uh, you know uh, the 1.1 million XP so you know all these event items that you co collect you could just uh, uh, donate it off 
Uh, and also, I, I, this one don't quote me, I do not know, uh, because I haven't really tried, because by the time this one come, come along, everything is already maxed up. But I mean, five duplicate you need, you can exchange for 500,000, uh, 500 k credit checks. So whether you can donate these credit checks for XP or not, I do not know, but I would suppose anything you can sell for credit can donate for XP. So uh, worth, worth a thought. Okay, um, so now the next question is that uh, should I collect all the items and, and, and donate uh, for XP? Um, I, I think ultimately you need a balance between playing the game of uh, leveling crafter or vendors versus playing the game of leveling your heroes or getting Omega points. Because ultimately the time spent picking up all these things and donate them all um, is going to affect your whole gameplay. Uh, it is quite tedious. Uh, my recommendation is that anything that is purple and yellow, meaning the epic and cosmic, uh, donate to vendor. Now, the, the, the credit difference between the, the cosmic and the epic is not a lot, if, if you take a look at your, your credit value. Um, but the purple one drops a lot more. So if you just donate the, 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 the cosmic one, you, know, you, you don't really progress that much. All right? So I would strongly recommend you at least you know, pick up those purple and the yellow one and donate them. As for the blue and the green one, vaporize it for your pet. Now, what, what do I mean by that is that, you know, you can level your pet as well. And uh, and, by, uh, and you should by and large go for the first two affixes I have here, which is like a plus eight to base health and plus 50 spirit. And that is the kind of affixes that you can, you can get if you donate item to the pet instead of to the vendor. So, you know, like for instance, if you do not uh, you do not open the vendor item if you hold out and and uh, and the right right key you actually donate to the pet if you open the uh, crafter item uh, crafter window you it. hold the out key and you press right key you go into a vendor so you know oh by the way you also be very careful when you do that because uh, if you donate that the, the the unit item while your unit rank is max you actually go into the to, to the yellow zone so yeah um so the um I would suggest you vaporize the uh, the blue and the green and to do that, as I mentioned before, come to this gameplay and then go under here that you can uh, shift this to say a rare. So what it happened is that anything that is uh, green or blue, it will be, it will be vaporized and it, uh, to level the pad, so everything you just push down to here, for instance, that anything that's epic and uh, and a cosmic you can pick up from the ground, all right? So yeah, I mean, uh, these, these, are, these are good, I mean, you know, when I, during my time I don't have this, so it was a lot of crap on the ground that I need to see through. But now there's a vaporization, uh, I think you should do that. And uh, by the way, I mean, you know, as you level up the pets, you may not get the affix that you want or the number that you want. You can always reset Just it through the crafter here. Uh, I hope by now you have the in this recipe somehow. All these uh, are the ones available for you to reset the, the pet stat, all right? So, um, as for the unique, uh, I would not suggest you to once you get the affixes that you want, be as plus three fighting for your non summoner or the plus three intelligence for summoner. Uh, once you get that affix, uh, then your unit, I would strongly suggest you would store it for exchange for either the credit if you run out of credit, sorry, run out of credit, all right, five of them, or you go for four duplication for relics because I find that relics are a bit hard to farm. So, uh, but I, I strongly suggest you not to waste the uh, unique into a leveling crafter or enchanter, all right? Um, so I hope this video is useful. Just to recap, there are, there are a couple of vendors you should consider. The crafter, you should do it for, you should max crafter first. You should max the uh, enchanter next. Whether gear and weapon you want to max it up or not, up to you. I think it's totally not mandatory. You should then focus all your energy, all your, all your loots into, into, into leveling your pet, all right? Because that would take a long time as well even longer than the, uh, the, the, the level in the craft and so on, uh, if you're not lucky enough. And the, uh, pay attention to event items as well, because those are very good XP for, for leveling them. And uh, I think that's about it. I mean, you know, uh, if there are anything I've missed out, drop me a comment below and I will just add it onto this video. And uh, as always, if you have any requests, any video you would like me to make, uh, I'm, it's more than welcome to put a request to me and I'll, I'll try my best, all right? Bye, have a nice day.